The 1x12 drive frame is nowadays pretty much established as the new standard in mountain biking. Almost all new bikes come out already with the 1x system installed. However, not everybody owns a new bike with top-end specs. Some of us still ride bikes with 3x10 or 2x10 drivetrains, while others simply just can't afford an high-end drivetrain. And it is exactly with that in mind that Shram came up with the NX Eagle group set, an entry-level, affordable and modern drivetrain that will not only allow for new bikes to be cheaper without having to compromise too much, but also to be retrofitted to older mountain bikes and bring them closer to modern standards, because let's face it, with the prices nowadays, not everybody can afford a new mountain bike. Weighing almost 2 kilos, 1,945 grams to be more precise, the NX Eagle drivetrain differs from their high-end counterparts mainly in the material used on manufacturing, which is mainly steel. And if with that comes a weight penalty, it's also true that it's more durable and therefore the only SRAM drivetrain recommended for e-bikes. Focusing on the individual components, the PG-1230 cassette is all made of punched steel, being the four biggest cogs riveted together while all others are assembled individually. One of the drawbacks of the NX Eagle cassette is its 450 range, if compared to all other Eagle cassettes which have a 500 range. This is due to the smallest cog having 11 tooth and not 10 to fit the typical Shimano split body hub, which is common on older mountain bikes. Another drawback is its 610 grams of weight, which is a lot for a cassette. The PG1230 comes with the Power Glide 2 technology, which, according to SRAM, will allow for better performance, more durability, and reliability. Moving to the derailleur, it features the standard SRAM X Horizon design, a large 14 tooth X Sync 2 pulley wheel, which will allow for smooth pedaling, while the Type 3 roller bearing clutch will mean a quieter and efficient shifting, again, according to SRAM. The NX Eagle derailleur also features a cage lock to remove your rear wheel effortlessly and the X actuation technology which will keep shifting precise across the whole cassette. Weight is around 340 grams and it is the heaviest of all Shuran derailleurs, in part due to the use of steel as well as aluminium in its manufacturing as opposed to other completely made aluminium derailleurs from Shuran. Regarding the chain, it features a solid pin construction with 126 links and weighing around 250 grams. As to technologies, it features the power lock for easy chain connection and flow link for chain ring engagement with less friction, less noise and more durability. The lack of any kind of finish, like nickel or chrome, is the NX Eagle chain biggest drawback, together with its weight. Moving to the crankset, the direct mounted chainring is made of steel and features the x 2 technology, with teeth profile being made to work with the Eagle chain effortlessly, while reducing wear. Crank arms are made from 600 series aluminium and only fits a SRAM dub bottom bracket, which means a 29mm diameter spindle. Altogether, the NX Eagle crankset weighs about 640 grams, depending on two factors. The chainring stiff, 30, 32 or 34, and crank's arm length, 165, 170 or 175 mm. As for the shifter, it is mainly made from plastic and aluminium, and with the exception of Matchmaker X, it has all the technologies the IN Tram shifters have meaning X actuation to keep shifting precise across the whole cassette and zero loss which means immediate cable engagement when pressing the shifter lever. 
Surprisingly, the NX Eagle trigger shifter is the lightest of all SRAM shifters. After around 2500 km of riding, the NX Eagle group set had its good moments and its bad ones. Out of the box and after a proper installation, it worked like a charm, the size and quiet shifting were impressive and as long as everything was set up correctly, it always performed amazingly well. Although the trigger shifter felt somewhat cheap, the truth is it does not underperform and I have absolutely no complaints about it. It does what it is supposed to do without complaining, so I don't complain either. Over the last two years, I can't remember my chain having dropped once. Didn't really matter how rough the terrain was, chain retention was always perfect. I dare to say, as good as in an high-end SRAM Eagle group set. At this point, I recently installed a new chain as was to be expected, nothing out of the ordinary there. The rest of the transmission were cassette chain ring and derailleur is still very acceptable, especially taking into consideration that I should clean them more often than I really do, increasing wear exponentially. So they have a pretty rough life. That is for me a big advantage as an high-end transmission would probably suffer from lifespan problems with me. I am but a common mountain bike enthusiast and every cent I spend on my bike comes from my own pocket, so I like durability. Unfortunately, not everything is perfect with the NX Eagle group set, and after around a thousand kilometers, I started having shifting problems on the trails, which took some of the fun out of riding. Side to side movement on the derailleur's mounting bolt caused havoc all over the cassette when shifting. I was able to mitigate some of those problems while adjusting everything once again, but the truth is, shifting performance and riding experience dropped considerably from there on. At this time, I still ride the NX derailleur just to see how far can I go with it, but the truth is it failed somewhere around 1000 km and should have been either replaced or repaired. Nonetheless, it leaves a bad impression on an otherwise well-made affordable Eagle drivetrain. While being an affordable drivetrain, performance difference between the NX and other Iron Shrum Eagle group sets are for the common mountain biker enthusiast like myself almost unnoticeable. The biggest difference between them is mainly the material used, which means a bigger weight difference, more than anything else. The NX Eagle group set is perfect for riders wanting to upgrade their older biker models with modern components but it is also an amazing choice for a common guy who needs something modern on his bike that is compatible with his lifestyle, which group sets like the X01 or XX1 aren't. As for the most of us, the weight penalty comes second to affordability and durability. That being said, the rear derailleur is, in my opinion, the weakest link in all the NX Eagle group set, and would probably be the one component and given that all Eagle components are interchangeable, that I would spend more money replacing with a better model. All other transmission components will in time obviously also wear out, but they can be affordably replaced if you just stay within the same group set, which is the most durable and cost-effective option. Like anything else that is budget-friendly, there's always a compromise, and in the case of the NX Eagle group set, that compromise is weight rather than performance, and that's a deal I would take any day.
With that being said, this is the end of this review. As always, I hope it was entertaining and helpful, and if so, help the channel by hitting the like button, subscribing and, of course, clicking the notifications bell to be warned about upcoming videos. And if you feel like, why not leave a comment? See you next time, have fun riding your bike!